This is Chief John Mackey with the Auraria Campus Police Department here in Denver, Colorado. Auraria Campus is unique to the country in that we have three institutions on one campus, approximately 40,000 students, 5,000 staff, so safety and security is uh, very important to all of us here on the campus. It's an urban setting, a very busy campus. As our um, community has grown, the need to communicate has, has increased. The Talkaphone Towers, as we have approximately 200 of those around campus, whether it's in the parking lot, whether it's in the buildings themselves, are advantageous to all of us. There's a system in our dispatch center that provides for us knowing immediately where that phone is located to assure that the officer has a, a quick response. Hi, I'm on campus and my laptop was just stolen. Okay, and I show you over at the manual gallery on the outside. If you could just stay on the phone with me, I'm going to get an officer over in your area, okay? Did you see the person who took it? No, I didn't see what they looked like. What kind of laptop is it? It's a Dell. Dell? What color? It's black. Black. Was it in a case or anything like that? Yeah, it was in a case and it was here and then gone. Okay, just stay on the phone with me. I'm going to dispatch officers, okay? Thank you. Thanks. Getting contact with the, the police uh, in, in urgent settings is, is important to any of those folks uh, here on campus. The ability to communicate quickly, efficiently, effectively uh, with a broadcast message is important. So that's one of the things we're looking at here at the Auraria campus. My name is Lyndall Harris. I'm the chief of police at Oklahoma City University. Our student population is around 3,700 and one of the reasons why we decided to go with the Talkaphone is we could make broadcast announcements on them. They can be used for information, they can be used for emergencies. Someone that's new to campus, if they can hit the information button, which goes directly to our switchboard, and from there, well, they can uh, they can receive any information about the campus that they need to know. Oklahoma City University. I uh, excuse me, I'm the. I'm a little lost. Uh, could you tell me where the uh, Freedy Center is, please? One of the things that I like is the capability of being able to single out an area that you would like to broadcast to. If you're wanting to disperse a crowd or make a notification to that crowd, any type of gathering that you have in that area, then you would have that capability of doing that. The following is a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is only a test. We've got 18 of these phones around campus, and I know the plans are to install two more phones in the Cokesbury Court Apartments located on the west, uh, west side of campus. Eventually, we're going to tie into this system, and it's going to have a broadcast system inside every building on campus that will allow us to broadcast that message through the phones. So if we have an active shooter, then everyone's going to be notified by the uh, intercom system in there and that's that's one of the plans that uh, that we have for those uh, for those phones to tie into well my name is Colleen Brady I'm a junior here at UNCG I've always felt pretty safe here on, at UNCG um, I noticed the campus police you know numerous times throughout the day on my way to class or anywhere else Hi, my name is Stacy, and I've been going to UNCG for almost six years now. In my first year on campus, I actually lived in the residence halls, and uh, I even noticed the call boxes there. There were several in the area, which I was glad to see them. My name is Sherry Knoy. I earned four degrees from UNCG, so I was here for quite a while. Um, and a lot of the times where I was walking back and forth uh, to my car at night, I always kept an eye to make sure I knew where the blue emergency lights and the phones were. My name's Benjamin Frazier. I'm from Reedsville, North Carolina. The blue um, emergency notification lights all around campus, they actually, they make you feel safer when you got out of the car or something. You're like, you notice that it's there. You look for it, you're like, okay, there's the blue lights. There's the button I need to push. The new paging system's very loud, so you can hear it from anywhere. And that's a great evolution from the standard call box or something that not every student can get a hold of. On a big campus like this, it's very easy to think you're just in this one building. Like the business school feels very cut off from the music building. And so these mass paging systems and the text messaging really lets people know in an instant what's going on. Because if you know what's going on, at least you can 
take measures to avoid the area or, you know, let your parents know you're okay.